Hey, what's up, everybody? So in this video, we'll discuss how data is stored in a hash table. So when if we declare an array, let's say, right, and if we store integers in if we store integers in ten indexes, right, which will vary from zero, one, two, three, eight, till nine, right. So some integer data is stored in each of these uh, blocks, right. So here the index is already defined, right. And uh, it's up to us what we store in each of these index. But in hash table, it's we use something called hash function, right? So what we do is we do is suppose we have a table, right, which has indexes uh, from zero, one, two, three, till um, k minus one, right? And and x is the data we need to store, right? X is the input. So when we uh, so when we pass our input through hash function, it will and x is the input input uh, we need for the hash function. That is the data we want to store in the hash table. All right. So when we pass um, x into hash function, and um, it will so what so what so what hash function will do is it will return an index where this input will be stored. Right. So again, hash function is a function where we pass our data which we want to store, and it returns the index where we want to where we'll store our our data, right? Uh, so so unlike so unlike array or direct access table, uh, we don't store the data serially in a in a in a hash table. Okay, we use a hash function and uh, we input the data. It inputs it. It takes data as the input, and it and it uh, returns and it returns the index uh, where we store the the data, right? So 